125 to 110. The Kings go wire to wire. They never trailed in this game. They opened up with a 38-point first quarter. They followed that up with 34 and 32, and then they did not play well in the fourth. But they had such a big lead, uh, they were able to make some shoddy plays in the fourth quarter and still win 125 to 110. So Sacramento starts off this road trip with a win. They now go to two games over 500. And next up, the San Antonio Spurs. So good to have you here on the postgame show. In a moment, Ryan and Sacktown on If You Don't Like That. Three, two, one, go. Sacramento missed you. Carter, stolen by Williams. And look at this. Oh, you don't like that. You don't like NBA basketball. an ESPN highlight right there. Whoa. Carlson comes in. How about this? Holy moly, Jim Bob Bowley. That was a major league smush. Uh, yes, it was. And uh, the Kings smush the Lakers 125 to 110. Welcome to If You Don't Like That, Grant Rhino in Sacktown. What would you say? 40. One of 48 really, really good basketball and seven minutes of poor basketball. Yeah, that's about right, Grant. Uh, you got to look at the positives here, but also pay attention to the negatives. But overall, a very good night for the Kings. 56 points from your starting backcourt. That's going to win you a lot of games. All right. Rough closeout, but still win by 15. Mental letdown to start the fourth. I would agree with you. Oh, we got South Korea checking in on the stream. So happy to have you here in uh, South Korea. Hope that you are doing well. Uh, the Kings win it 125 to 120. And there is, uh, again, a lot to like from this game. And I thought Demonte Sabonis, De'Aaron Fox, they were great tonight. Yeah, it starts with both of them. We already know the Kings will go as they go, but they dominated the game. Sabonis playing with no hesitation, just owning it. And it's a great sight to see. Well, uh, thank you, Grant Ryan, for what you do for this fan base. We love you. Well, we appreciate you because uh, without you, we wouldn't be doing all of these programs. So uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Sabonis was beaming. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. And the Kings just... Very, very good. Uh, someone said they saw Vladi at the game. Well, he lives in L.A., and that doesn't surprise me. Uh, his son works for the Lakers, so I'm not surprised that he was at the game. And Vladi's been at uh, Golden One Center, I think, uh, two or three times already this young season. Uh, so we didn't see Davion on the floor. Well, you know what? He's not part of the rotation right now. And I think had the Kings not played so poorly to open up the fourth quarter, I think everyone would have gotten in. Checking in from Colombia. We are so happy to have you here from Colombia. Thank you very much down Thanks. in uh, South America. But I'm not worried about Davion Mitchell right now. The Kings have played very well in their last two games. Mitchell has not been a part of that. And that's just the way it goes. You can't play everybody. Yeah. And does it look like the Kings are missing Davion at this no. point? No. no. And uh, it's his job to stay ready. He likely will. And uh, wait for that next opportunity. Light the beam indeed. Yes, Yes, yes. All right. You and I talked about this, and it is the Lakers' first home loss. They're now 5-1. and one, That the Lakers were playing three games in four nights, an older team, come out and run them off the floor, make it so they got to play catch-up all game, and the Kings were able to do that. Yeah, they were. They they took the pace to them. Kings win 96 shots tonight. Lakers caught up a little bit with 83, but that was the big difference to start the game. Grant, it's really hard for a team like that to come back on tired legs at the end of the game. Yeah, again, 125 to a 110 uh, for Sacramento. And next up, the San Antonio Spurs. So happy to have everybody here. So Sabonis ends up with 29, 16 rebounds, 7 assists, 3 steals. Did turn the ball over four times. Uh, all uh, of the starters were in double figures with the exception of Murray, who had 9 on 3 of 9. Uh, Harrison, 5 of 10. Fox, great. 10 of 22 for 28 points. You had uh, Herder was tremendous with 28 yeah. points. I thought the bench was terrible tonight. 
I got to be honest with you. I, I thought, with the exception of JaVale McGee, who didn't play a lot, I thought he played pretty well in his nine minutes. Um, Monk was terrible tonight. Vizankov missed all three of his threes. You know, I, I didn't. I, they didn't get much from the bench, but they didn't need their bench. They didn't need the bench. He hit the nail on the head. But what you didn't like to see from the bench was the decision-making, specifically Malik Monk. Bad shot. Mike Brown pulled him out as he should have. But that contributed to that little run that the Lakers made towards the end of the game. All right. Again, uh, we appreciate you uh, sending us messages right here. There were sloppy turnovers and there were a lot of poor shots. I would agree with you. And Ryan and I were talking about that at length on Pro Sports Fans. And if you weren't with us, I pointed out several times how they made a mistake of not getting the ball to Sabonis when they needed to get the ball to Sabonis. And what did they do right after that? Got the ball to Sabonis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, again, uh, Monk was garbage tonight. He got taken out of the game for a bad shot in the fourth quarter, and he should have been taken out. It was stupid, you know? Yeah. But then but then Keegan Murray, he comes back in the game, and he follows what Monk did with another bad three. Same thing Monk had done to get pulled out. So it goes across the board at times. But Monk will bounce back, Grant. He, he's one of those guys that's more consistent than not. Yeah, you know, I'm looking at the Lakers numbers and they got very careless with the basketball tonight. They had 23 turnovers. You're not going to beat a good team like Sacramento with 23 turnovers. You just not. You know, the Kings turnovers were very manageable with 15, but the Lakers were very careless uh, with the basketball tonight. And the Kings forced that. You know, I thought the Kings got their hands on a lot of the, 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 the steals and, you know, created turnovers. And I like that aspect of it. I thought that was a real plus for Sacramento in this game. 20 steals tonight, Grant. I would like to see where that stands with the Kings over the past 18 months. It's got to be right up there, but that means they're getting their hands in passing lanes, which is good. Slows the other team down. Um, I don't recall 20 steals in a long time. That's that's an enormous amount of steals, you know? It's a lot of steals, especially on 23 turnovers. So um, impressive by them. The Kings had, I believe, 14 steals on 14 turnovers earlier in the season against Golden State, I want to say. So Blaine, like we appreciate Blaine, we appreciate the invite to take us to dinner. I personally have no plans to go to Milwaukee or Chicago uh, for a game, but uh, thank you for the invite. And I have no plans to go to Chicago or Milwaukee in the winter, which starts in October and ends at the end of May. So it would have to be June, July, or August. Okay, but thank you. I do. We, oh. we do appreciate it, Blaine. Stay warm, my yeah. friend. Stay warm. Blaine, this guy's used to the warm weather now. I, I love the yeah. cold weather. Let's do it, Blaine. Do you Let's really? Do it. Yes. You love the cold absolutely. weather? Absolutely. I love wow. it. Really? Yes. Yes. I wish Sacramento got more of a cold season, a pronounced winter season. In wow. That sense. All right. I don't like the cold weather. I'll take the cold know. over the hot. I'll I don't even own cold. a jacket. I, I don't even have a jacket anymore. I have a sweatshirt, uh, <laughs> which I haven't worn in three years. I I don't I I'd be in a lot of trouble. I'd have to go shopping first if I went to uh, that part of the world, you know? Absolutely. Yeah, well, you're doing okay if that's the uh, heaviest piece of outerwear that you have. You're in a good Absolutely. spot, Fred. Uh Sabonis was great tonight. I thought he set the tone real early in this game, Rhino. Yeah, he did. He set the tone for the team and he set the tone for the game in general, the way the Lakers played. Anthony Davis only had 4 points heading into the fourth quarter and that's a matchup yep that we were worried about on the King's end. So great job by him. And just the difference that he's playing or the way he's playing with Fox back in the lineup is just leaps and bounds. I want to tell you about uh, Sunrise Landing from Blazona Development. And you need to check out this website. Uh, Calusa is a beautiful area to live. And I've already received uh, some nice emails from folks that have uh, gone up there and checked out uh, Sunrise Landing. You go to calusasunrise.com. Six models to choose from. Uh, first phase is already sold out. They're on to uh, phases two and three. Again, at Sunrise Landing in Calusa. Just go to calusasunrise.com. You get all the information. That's calusasunrise.com. Sunrise Landing by Blazona Development. Sacramento, 125. The LA Lakers, 110. Two wins in four tries so far, or two out of two with two more to come uh, over the Lakers. So 2-0 and against the Lakers this year, and I know Kings fans absolutely love that. I don't think the Lakers are that good. I think they're going to be right around 8-9-10-ish. You know, that, that, I I don't see them ahead of seven. I think they'd have to get in from the play-in. I don't 
I don't see them as a top six. Well, they're only going to go as far as AD and LeBron take them, both of which were on the injury report coming into tonight. The, the Lakers bench is not giving them much, and that's going to have to be the difference for them. Glad that you enjoy Sunrise Landing and Calusa. We appreciate the love right there. Thank you very much. And I know that Lazona development, uh, and it is beautiful. I, I'm telling you, I've checked it out. Thank you for uh, the messages. Uh, it is beautiful. You are exactly right. All right. If you don't like that, you're exactly right. If you don't like that. And if you don't like that, how about this from Serbia? If you don't like that, I don't eat burgers anymore. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, we, that's a big statement. That's a huge statement. Whoa. Oh, we got Argentina checking in. Feels like after learning how to win a game without Fox, this team looks better now on Fox's return than before he got hurt. Thanks for your coverage. We appreciate that. And uh, hello in yeah. South America. They do look pretty good right now, but... Let's also be fair. Now, after the next game, we're going to get a real good barometer at Dallas, two in New Orleans, and at Minnesota. I think the Dallas-Minnesota are the more of the uh, challenging games. Those are going to be big-time games. Yeah, both teams playing excellent basketball. Minnesota seems to have figured something out finally. Um, with the two bigs, but the Kings, those are where they're going to have to show up. But I've maintained those are the games they show up for. They will be ready. And hello to uh, Eduardo in Chile. And they all say Hola. Dobro Utro to uh, everybody checking in in South America. Thank you for that. And uh, we appreciate having people from all over the globe. We've got Korea checking in. We've got Colombia. we got Argentina. we got Serbia. I mean, I love it. I absolutely love it's this. Great. This is fabulous. You know, absolutely it's fabulous. Great. And you're all happy. Uh, Ohio counts because I went to college there at uh, Bowling Green State University. So we can we can prop Ohio up. But uh, the Absolutely. Kings, the Kings get the victory. And it's always fun doing these shows uh, after wins as opposed to losses. Happy birthday to you. The Kings get the win on your birthday. Happy birthday. Good job happy right birthday. there. Good yes. Job. Yes. Well done. Yes. We got uh, Virginia checking in on the stream. Hello to Virginia. And uh, good it. morning to you. This is great. Syracuse, you know? Colorado. All right. Look so you want this. some cold weather? You got some cold weather. All right. There's Nico. Nico, how are you? Nico's doing a fabulous job. He is a student, okay, uh, in their broadcasting department. And awesome. uh, I met him when he was at Oak Ridge High School. And I helped him with his work. And I would critique his work, similarly to what I did for you. And yep. Nico and I have stayed in touch, and he is going to be big time. This guy is on his way to a tremendous broadcasting career. Nico, I'm very proud of you, buddy. I mean that. I'm really proud of you because every time you send me work, it gets better and better and better, and you're at the number one school in America for that, and I wish you nothing but the best. Great kid, doing well. Good job, Nico. That? Glad to have you with us. Great job, Nico. That is amazing. Love to see the work ethic. Yep. Love that. Uh, Sabonis, uh, eight no against AD. Yep. Thank you for the super chat. And I'll tell you what else was nice. You know, I like the, just like you did, Nico reached out to me. He didn't know me. Reached yep. out to me. I got back to him. I've helped him. Not that I'm the reason why he's doing well, but, you know, I think it's, you always try to pay back and pay it forward. And I'm really happy for him. So thanks for checking in. Really appreciate that. All right, so uh, 125 to 110, the final. Nico getting some love on the stream, you know? Heck yeah. Love it, love it, love it, love it. You got to get right. Nico on the uh, podcast. Uh, you know what? I will get Nico on my podcast eventually. I will. Um, yeah. He's in his uh, sophomore year, I believe. So I will, for sure. I will. He's doing a show now in Syracuse. He asked me to come on. I couldn't come on. Or no, he got an opportunity uh, to do a broadcasting gig somewhere. So I postponed and uh, hopefully I can uh, hook up with him. We'll see. But anyway, all good. All right. Very cool. Yeah. 125 to 110. All right. Why is Draymond Green still in the NBA? Because he's under contract and they can't get rid of him. The guy's an embarrassment to the league. You know, really he's more concerned with what's next at this point in his career. And Grant, I mean, any attention is good attention for his brand in his yeah. eyes. All right. Good stuff right there. And I uh, really appreciate all of the messages means a lot. 
And Blaine, thank you. Blaine did reach out to me. I remember he sent me uh, an email and I got back to him and gave him some, you know, advice. Thank you for watching, Blaine. We really appreciate that. Oak Park checking in, going on a walk to see the beam. I love that. Nice. Yes. Well done, Matthew. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. I love all the people watching from, you know, around the U.S. and around the world. Man, I love it. You know, oh, we got Mexico coming in. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Now we got Mexico represented here on the stream tonight. It's freaking awesome. Love it. I, I'm telling you, we got to get a digital map where we're pinning all of these places. The world map would light up, my friend. Oh, yes, indeed. Well, Bennett's is not worldwide, but they've got several locations, including this one. Bennett's Westside Grill in Rockland at the Blue Oaks Town Center. It's one of three locations, Sacramento, Roseville, the others. Just go to Bennett'sRestaurants.com. Check out the menu. Make a reservation. Prime Seafood and Steak at Bennett's. You're going to love it. And don't forget, they have daily happy hour specials on the appetizers and drinks. They have 60 different types of wine available by the glass. Go to Bennett'sRestaurants.com. Make a reservation. Check out the menu. The weekend brunch, weekend prime rib. I love it. Ryan loves it. We love it. Oh, Bennett's. Yeah. You'll love it as well. 125 to 110. <laughs> Blaine wants to know if Bennett's is going to Chicago. Listen, I love Brian. Brian does a great job. I don't know if Brian wants to compete with all of those phenomenal restaurants in the Windy City because their restaurants in the Windy City are top shelf. Now, I'm not going to speak for Brian, but I'm, I think he's going to pass on that. You know, I don't think Brian likes the cold weather either. Oh, <laughs> they, there's the easy out. But you know what? Some of Bennett's dishes, I think they could compete with some of those restaurants. And I'm oh, not I, blowing smoke. They're that oh, good. No, no, no. Uh, the food is great. I'm not saying the food couldn't compete, but I mean, that's a tough restaurant market to get into that in is. Chicago. You know, it is indeed. Yeah. Joe says next time he's in Sacramento, go to Bennett's. You will love it. Trust me. All right. You will absolutely love it. Anything other than the four to five minute stretch of that fourth quarter you did not like in this game? No, not really. Um, I thought there was good balance. I thought guys were getting their shots within the framework of the offense. They made the Lakers take tough shots, which is a good thing on a uh, second night of a back to back. So all in all, really good, Grant. How about yourself? Yeah, that's about it. I echo your thoughts. Uh, sorry, but Bennett's is not going to Belgrade. I know you would love it. You could watch the game 24-7. But I, <laughs> Brian is uh, an entrepreneur, and he does great things. I don't see that being on his list. I really don't. My dish at Bennett's, that's a great question. If I'm doing fish, I love the red fish with a side of sautéed spinach. It's great. And if I'm doing steak, the New York prime steak, the way it's served, the cut of meat, the quality is my favorite. I absolutely love that. And they bring it out for you, and you can choose the cut that you want. So they bring all the beef out, wrapped in plastic, and you choose which one you want. I love it. It's great. Absolutely great. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, 125 to 110. Yes, you'll have to go, Blaine. Trust me. And if I'm in town, Blaine, I'll go with you, all right? If I'm in town, I'll go with you because you will love it. Better you pick up the uh, check, will. Blaine. Pick up the huh? check, Blaine. Pick up the check, Blaine. If no, I won't comes, do that. To, pick I won't it up do for that. him. I won't do that. To, I won't do that. I, I won't. Blaine, I didn't say you had to pay, all right? <laughs> uh, my thoughts on Ellis. Well, what what is your uh, thoughts on Ellis? My thoughts on Ellis? Yeah. I, I, I think he's a I think he's a longer Davion Mitchell to a degree. Not the same defender, but still a very good defender. And the difference between him and Davion is I feel like he brings energy to that mm. second unit when he comes on the court. Davion, it, he doesn't bring that same kind of spark that some of the other guys that get a lot of minutes off the bench do. Mm. 125-110, good thoughts on Ellis and... So happy to have everybody here on the stream. So we got that. All right. Um, Draymond should serve jail time. I don't think he should no. serve uh, jail uh -huh. time. All right. Let's, yeah, I, I, I think you're way off the base there. You know, incredible. Unbelievable. Well, All right. Again, 125 to 110. And other than that quick stretch in the fourth quarter, there's nothing about, this game that I did not like. I liked everything that I saw in this game. 
I didn't like Malik Monk. I did not like him. Yes, room for improvement there. And, you know, much like when De'Aaron was out, the first offense looked a little off. When Malik Monk is off, that second unit sometimes looks off because he opens up good opportunities for your Sasha's, for your Chris Duarte's. And so that can kind of cause a little downhill effect. So I think that's what happened tonight. All right. Um, So... You and I got the Kings going four and two on this road trip, and I thought the key going to four and two is this game. So I think they're yes. going to go four and two uh, because I think they're going to beat San Antonio, and then the next four games will be a very good test. I think they'll at the worst split New Orleans. I could see them winning both, but they're not going to lose both. And that that Dallas game, two games from now, should be an absolute dandy. That's going to be a fun game, and I think it's a very reasonable for game for the Kings. Actually, the way that Dallas is playing right now, Kyrie playing somewhat of a second fiddle to Luka, um, and it's going to be about pace. But Dallas is playing good basketball right now. They're playing very good. You know, they had that bad loss against New Orleans, and then uh, tonight they destroyed the Wizards. And I, they're, they're going to be good. if You know, when Luka and Kyrie are playing that way, that's a tough one-two punch. But you know what? Last time I checked, Sabonis and Fox are a hell of a one-two punch. I, I'm, I, I sound like a homer. I would take the one-two punch of Fox and Sabonis because of what it brings to the rest of the team rather than two ISO players that have to be playing just right to get along and really flourish. Yeah, well, very good point. Um, I think we're going to be really entertained for that Dallas game. That's going to be mm-hmm. a very entertaining game. That's going to be the first games though. You you know, you, you, you still think the Kings will play to the level of the competition, which is the Spurs. So, Let's say they lose that game. Then all mm-hmm. of a sudden, that puts this road trip in great jeopardy. You cannot lose the Spurs game. I mean, you're so much better than them. You cannot let them hang around. Uh, Granted, it just feels like a trap game. Kings coming off a of four win straight. Can they make it five? It, it just feels that way. Kings riding high. Um, I, I don't know. It, coming off last year, they had the bad game against the Spurs, the whole Wemby thing. I just, maybe it's a game he goes off. It's got me worried. Well, we appreciate uh, all the greetings uh, from your buddies over there. Uh, Make sure they have subscribed to the YouTube channel if they have not already done so. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up button. We would greatly appreciate that. Thank you very much for the love there, Hutch. So blessed to be here. Been a fan of Grant since I was a young child. How old are you now? How old are you now? How old are you, Hutch? I love love that. That's great. All right. in a season tourney game, is that a season, is that a part of the in season tournament, the game against the Spurs? No, it is not. Okay. I think their next in season tournament game, correct me if I'm wrong, is when they come back and play the Warriors at home, is it not? Yeah, I believe that's the next one. Uh huh. Well, they're saying it is an in season. It is. Oh, is it? That's what they're saying. I don't even look okay. at this. Time. I don't care yeah, about. It. I don't look at that or circle it any different than any other game. Just means they're going to be playing on an ugly court. You know what? They're going to beat San Antonio regardless of whether it's a tournament game or not. You know? Yeah. Well, I don't know. I think they're going to lose this game. I really do. I can't quantify it. They're going to lose this game. I hope you would just yell at me and say I'm so wrong. You can do a whole rant on how stupid of a take it is. But uh, it just got that feeling, man. Just All right. Oof. How about this? Um, I remember watching Grant and Jerry back in 03 when I was in kindergarten. Wow. All right. Appreciate the uh, love chase and the uh, donation on the super chat. Yeah, I think that, you know, you got to go by, you got to be concerned about the union and, you know, all of that. And, you know, it's going to be appealed. And so, you know, you're dealing with, all of those issues when you suspend a player. Yeah. And Draymond knows that process really well. So I'm actually, I've seen some comments about eight games. I'm surprised they didn't aim a little higher knowing that that process would still play out. We'll see. Um, There's very little defense for Draymond Green, you know, just the way it is. Yes. Leaving uh, the arena in LA Winds hit differently here. Light the beam. Amen to that. Hey, you know? love that. Love yeah. that. Were they uh, chanting light the beam during the game? I bet they were. Uh, No. 
No. Uh, oh, you mean were they chanting "Light the beam" at the end of the game? Oh, I'm sure they were. I didn't. I wasn't yeah. listening to the uh, telecast either. Were you? Because we were on the app. Were no, they chanting we were "Light the, the beam" at the game? Yeah, I'm curious about that. Sure, they yeah. were. All right. All right. So it is an in-season tournament game. We conf- everyone's saying that. So, all right. All right. In-season tournament Friday night game. All right. That's right. Tuesday Fridays in-season tournament. All right. There you go. You had you have a little added extra pizzazz in that game. Speaking of that, uh, New Works Plumbing, they are going to be there for you for all of your plumbing needs and repairs. Just go to sacserviceplumbing.com or call the number on your screen. New Works Plumbing, available 24-7. So if you have an emergency in the middle of the night, no problem. They are there for you. That's New Works Plumbing, sacserviceplumbing.com. New Works Plumbing, Nave, got a fix for you. Wire to wire win. Wire to wire win. And they did say, yes, they heard light the beam at the end of the game. I love that in L.A. That's great. Awesome. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. You know? Absolutely. Good stuff. And everybody's saying that they can see the beam from a further distance this year. I saw people saying they're going out on their decks. They reinforced it. So they expect that thing to be lit plenty of times this year. Oh, man. Good old that is great. beam. Oh, man. All right. Hutch says, uh, would you mind if I got your portrait tatted, Grant? You're Jerry in a booth. You and Jerry in a booth would look sweet. Well, if you want to, what word am I looking for here? Uh, if you really want <laughs> to, uh, I got to be kind here. Find that um, balance. <laughs> you know, if you want a permanent marking on your body that you're probably going to regret when you get a little bit older, uh, sure, go ahead. Okay, but just understand that once you get us on as a tat, uh that's it forever, right? I know that there is the tattoo removal, but I've heard that doesn't work that well. Uh, you know what, Hutch? I really appreciate that. You go along on your own, at your own risk on that one, okay? If that's something you want to do, and it, you, I'd be honored. I'm not going to lie to you. I would be honored, but I wouldn't do it, but it's not my body. Well, here's the other thing, Grant. Hutch didn't say where he would be getting the tattoo. So, <laughs> but no, that would be an honor. I've seen people get those tattoos of people they look up to. Romy's got a couple of clones that did that. The, but you oh, would really? have to, yeah, yeah. You would have to uh, find a way to work your signature into the tattoo. So yeah. Hutch could get that tattooed along with your Yeah, portrait. if you don't like that, for sure. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. Did you wake up your wife chanting, holy moly, Jim Bob Bowl? You better be careful. You're going to be divorced soon. All right. <laughs> okay. So here's the thing. Half the time when we see people comment like this, like all the yeah. time, you think like, okay, they can't really be doing those things. I really think he's doing these things. Baki, I, I think that it's bonkers yeah. over there. And if I could pick one place to watch a game, I think I would take that flight to Serbia. All right. And see what well, that's about. Yeah, I'm with you on that. I'm with you on that. That's great stuff. They say, Hutch, you the man. You're getting a lot of love, Hutch. You know? Go for it, Hutch. Go for it. And Hutch, if you want to get it done on this post-game show, we have had people cut 16-year-old beards on the show. You can get your ink here on the show if you'd like. Well, what do you think about that, Grant? That would take a while. You know, that's not a tattoo that's going to be done in a, in a quick amount of time, especially with this beautiful face. I mean, you have to be very yeah. precise and, you know, you yes. got to. So absolutely. You got to get that color tone just right on the cheeks. <laughs> no doubt. I mean, I would love part of it to be live streamed. I think like yeah. the, the, the the last half hour or something, you know, and then we could still do our show. But uh, I mean, I don't have any tattoos, but there, it's a it's a rather time consuming deal, right? It depends what you get. I mean, I. I have a king's tattoo here that okay. took about two, three hours, and that's okay. Well, that's my point. Time. If you're doing a portrait of me and Jerry in the yeah, booth, it's gonna be like that's going to be several hours. No, it's going to be a couple of days. Oh, a couple That'll of days. That'll be done over a couple of days. That's not going to oh. be one session because right. when you do portraits, there's shading involved, and that's the more intricate part of the tattoo. Oh. Okay. Yes. All right. Blaine says. Um, Oh, I believe him. My wife grew up in Indianapolis. She tells me she knows too much about Grant and Ryan 
with how much I watch you guys. I actually, <laughs> I actually had a husband and wife come up to me at a game, at the end of a game. And they were all decked out in their King's gear and they were waiting for me. And she says, Grant, I love the Kings, but I hate you. I'm like, I start Ooh. laughing. I go, really? She goes, yes, you are the biggest problem with our sex life because <laughs> my husband is always watching you <laughs> and always listening to you. And I can never get any quiet time with him. And I said, hey, I'm so sorry. I'm really, I, I've, I didn't even know how to respond to that. How about that? <laughs> Was Jerry around? Jerry would no, add Jerry a one-liner for that. Jerry would not hear that one, you know? <laughs> Holy moly, that's awesome. This is not good. I do not want this show to go there. Grant, I gave my wife permission to be with only one other man at you. Uh, you know what? I'm a married man, and uh, I'm all, I'm not on the market, but thank you very much for that. Uh, the love is genuinely appreciated, but uh, no, no. Uh, uh, that, you, you got the wrong guy right here, okay? <laughs> The, the left turn these shows take when the Kings win and they have a really good game, it's just the best. You I'm just glad Jerry's not on with us right now because I don't know what Jerry would – oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, on that note, some final thoughts? Uh, don't go to Indiana, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh. Wow. All right, Kings and Spurs Ooh. coming up. Uh, stop two of this uh, six game trip. We appreciate each and every one of you. You're awesome. Rhino, great job today with everything. Thanks, partner. I love it. Had a lot of fun. Thanks for being there on PSF. All right. Good stuff right there. And hey, I want to once again just say thank you to everyone watching around the globe. I, I'm probably going to forget, but we got Korea, we got Argentina, we got Colombia, we got Chile, we got the, all the fans watching us in Belgrade. And around the U.S., we got Syracuse with Nico. We've got the Midwest checking in. We've got Ohio. I've got Virginia. I mean, uh, I love it. You all are the best. Your loyalty, your support means the world. All right. And again, I keep saying this. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Like the program. And we are very happy to do it. And I can't thank you enough. All right. Good night. We'll be doing this again pre half and post for the Kings and the Spurs. And folks, I want to leave you with this. Oh, if you don't like that, you don't like NBA basketball. Oh, boy. Have a good night, everybody, or a good morning, wherever you may be.